Well, hey there, folks. I'm Ruben Bressler, and I'm here in the sideboard with Ron Ferris of Blackwing Studio. How you doing? Thanks for joining me in the sideboard. Hi, Internet. Um, and we've got a couple pieces of your art here. Uh, and uh, just tell a little, a little bit about yourself to the folks at home. Uh, my name's Ron Ferris. Uh, I've been altering professionally for about two years now. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm based out of here in uh, sunny Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Though I, I travel with Star City pretty much all up and down the, the East Coast. Uh, I, uh, I, I ruin cards for a living. And, nice! Uh, there's not much more to say about that. That's pretty awesome. Now we've got a couple examples here. Uh, we've got a Kalia, Kalia, a Tesa, a Zur, and a Mother of Runes. Now, of course, the, the first three are, uh, are EDH generals. Really. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that a lot of your business oh, here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, EDH is, uh, is pretty popular. Those of you who play EDH, if you don't have an Alter General, you're probably doing it wrong. Um, EDH Generals make really good for, for, for Alters just because they're, they're kind of out there. Uh, you you can show them off show to all off. your opponents. You sure. know, it's not like, oh man, I hope I, hope I draw my, my, my Alter. I hope I, hope I get to show it off right. this game. But like, you're just like, bam, it's there. Yeah. And so they, they, they make really good. Uh, not to mention EDH is very liberal when it comes to what you can and can't do with a card. Sure. Um, so like you can you can get away with painting all kinds of stuff and no one really cares what your cards do. Right, of course. Now how would you how would you sort of describe your style? Um, I I do it, it's kind of a like my my personal style is kind of a fusion somewhere between like comic book art and like and, like traditional fantasy art. Um, I I, I had to have a lot of. Uh, influences in like from like Brom to like uh, RK Post a lot of like the, the dark fantasy stuff but then like um, a lot of a lot of comic book art kind of influenced my early style too um, although a as an altar artist uh, there's very few times that I get I get to say exactly what I want to paint right <laughs> um, every now and then I get some of like the the, the Kalia is is just like original work stuff that I just kind of Get to just kind of paint whatever I want, which is which is fun. But then you get a lot of people that are like, "Well, I want exactly this. Right. I want I want SpongeBob." It's very difficult to yeah. dramatically interpret SpongeBob. Sure. You know. Yes. So. Now you say you've been doing this for how long? Uh, about two years professionally. About two years, and and was that sort of. Uh did, did that you start, started doing that? I assume just for fun, but then the Star City Games Open Series came right. along and it's been really um, pushing altering. And right. Um, well, like I I've been doing it like pseudo perfect. Like it was. Um, I, I was at a point where like my my wife and I had just moved because she had gotten a new job, and so I was kind of between jobs at the time. And I was like, well, I can paint on some stuff, and like I had, I had done some stuff for myself starting out, and then some guys at my local shop were like, oh, that's cool, you know, gotta have some of this. And so uh, I kind of started with eBay, like starting with getting some eBay stuff, um, and then kind of from there, I had kind of a following on eBay for a while. Uh, and then I had people from eBay who started like contacting me specifically. But even then, it was like kind of a small time thing. It was just like a do on the side. Right. And then, um, you know, I got up with uh, uh, Lindsay Burley, who I, I think most of you guys know by now. Um, was just like showed up at my local shop because uh, I was living in Daytona at the time, and she has family around there. So she just showed up at my shop, and she's like, "Why aren't you on the Star City circuit?" And I was like, "Oh, I can I can never do that. That's." Right. That's those are real, sure, you know. Sure. But uh, no, so it's like she got me in touch with with a lot of the people, and it's it's all been kind of coasting since then. Excellent, that's fantastic. Now, so you're you're pretty much on the East Coast, and you go to a lot of those yeah. shows, uh, and people can obviously show up at shows and, right. and get commissions from you there, or they can buy some of your already done pieces. Right. But if they wanted to get in touch with you, uh, how would they uh, get a hold of you on the internet? Um, Facebook's a really good one. Uh, Facebook.com/slash/blackwingalters. Um, I pretty much like eat, sleep, breathe internet connection. Um, otherwise, uh, blackwingalters at yahoo.com um, is my, my, my personal email. I go straight to my, my phone, which is here in mm -hmm. my pocket, basically 150% of the time. Sure. Um, but yeah, I do, I do a lot of stuff. For those of you who are nowhere near the East Coast, you want to get stuff done with me, um, I do a lot of stuff um, online. Uh, I've got a regular who lives in Japan. Nice. Um, who I've done a bunch of work for. I've got I've got regulars across the world, and I, I ship internationally. Um, so uh, so yeah, like feel free contact me. Um, just shoot me an email. I have some crazy idea that I want you to paint on my card, and uh, I'll do just about anything. Cool. So. Well, I have one last question. Okay. Black Wing Studios. Yeah. Where does that come from? Um, it's it's always been kind of a, a like a, a monkey of mine um, that I've always used. Um, I did I did freelance graphic design for a while, so it kind of stemmed out of my my, my 
already having a business license. Sure, in sure. That. So then I kind of ran with it. Um, I I like I've always liked the, the the dichotomy behind like the fallen angel, like the the good and evil, but like light and dark, kind of a lot of the neat little stuff like that. Um, and a little bit that translates into my art. I, I really like a lot of of dichotomy. Like dichotomy has always been kind of a cool thing for me. Um, and even in in my painting like that and when I get to do original right. works um, you know like, like, like the Kalia kind of has a little bit like she's just kind of like evil but she's kind of like innocent mm -hmm. like even in the art like she's kind of sitting in a church so you get you get a little bit of depth and, and story there you know when things aren't aren't cut and dry they're not quite they're right. not quite exactly. obvious excellent um, well Thank you for joining me in the sideboard. It was great no talking to you. For those of you who want to see more of Ron's work, you can check him out on Facebook, or uh, you can check him out at the StarCityGames.com Open Series. Absolutely. Thanks for joining me. Not a problem. Thanks for having me.